those T's and P's are all in the green. Right, so we're off to sunny Norfolk today in trusty old Golf Oscar Mike. Strange being IFR when you can see the ground right below you. Clear, bro. Radio, good morning, Golf Bravo November. Oscar Mike requests to radio check and airfield information 1 POB VFR to Old Buckingham. Golf Bravo November, Oscar Mike, Campson Radio, good morning. Uh, the runway news 2 1, right hand circuit. Can H1028 to readability 5? 1028 2 1, right hand and your readability 5 2, Golf Oscar Mike. Alrighty ho, let's go for a little flight. Taking off 2 1. Surface in 220 degrees, 0 5 knots. Yeah, heels to the floor. How set. Let's go flying. Those T's and P's are all in the green. Airspeed is coming alive. The wind. Hawaii Mike 1 9 is uh, leaving us on contact. I think uh, Hopper's at 1 9 1 3 0. Flight next 4 9 and Roger Flight Plan next for 3 2. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. Hang on, Oscar Mike, leaving the zone to the south, changing to London information 124 to 16. Oscar Mike, Roger, have a safe flight, we'll see you later. Thank you, see you later, Gold Oscar Mike. Alright, so we're off to sunny Norfolk today, um, in trusty old Golf Oscar Mike. Uh, it's quite a nice day, actually. Totally not expecting this after the last few weeks of terrible weather that we've had um, here in the UK, but um, today seems to be the window where we've got quite a nice day. Uh, I'm actually going to be flying most of this flight IFR today um, for a couple of reasons. And primarily because we're going to be flying across all the air bases in Lincolnshire. There's quite a lot of low level airspace um, below 3,000 feet. So if we can get up above that, then we not only have to avoid dodging all of those um, air spaces and all those matses, uh, but also we get into some smoother, clearer air up a little bit above, although it is quite nice down here even at the minute. So my plan today to climb up to a flight level, wow, flight level in the PA-28. We're going to be flying and climbing up to flight level 70 today, so 7,000 feet. Um, speaking to London Information very shortly as we make our way down across Lincolnshire and into Norfolk to land at an airfield called Old Buckingham, which is just to the south of Norwich. Um, so yeah, strap yourself in, let's have a nice little flight on this beautiful, beautiful winter morning here in the UK. Okay, so now we're above the transition level, we can set the QNH to 1013. Uh, what's the OAT at the minute? It's still plus five, so that's good. We don't need to heat on just yet. I'll wait till we've leveled off at flight level 70 and then I can speak to London and we'll get a basic service off them for the route oh, down to old Buckingham. London information, good morning, Golf Bravo November, Oscar Mike. Golf Bravo November, Oscar Mike, London information, good morning, Parch message. Golf Bravo November, Oscar Mike, PA28 uh, routing Hampton to uh, old Buckingham in Norfolk, currently two miles south of Cranwell, uh, IFR flight level 70, requesting a basic service. Golf Bravo November, Oscar Mike, Scott 1177 with no Charlie, basic service. 1177, basic uh, service, Golf Oscar Mike. Golf Oscar Mike, confirm you'll be remaining outside controlled airspace when you have it to your estimate for old buck. I think I'm remaining outside of controlled airspace and ETA old Buckingham is 10140. Okay. Strange being IFR when you can see the ground right below you, but um, in front of us we've got quite a large kind of bank of cloud down at 2,000 feet, so I want to make sure that I, um, I'm doing things around. Also, I mean, I don't fly um, IFR that often, I don't fly uh, on instruments that often, which you kind of need to do when you've got the um, your rating, oh, my IMC rating, I, you kind of need to keep it current um, by doing IFR flying or instrument flying because otherwise you kind of lose the skills that are um, very crucial when you actually do need to use it, you're not going to have remembered it. So um, instrument flying is one of those things that you kind of lose very quickly if you're not careful. Um, so I figured that today would be a good chance while the weather's not too bad, um, we can do 
um, some instrument flying as we pop down to Old Buckingham, and it gives us a good chance to get up above these clouds as well into the sunshine, although it's kind of sunshine on the ground as well today. <laughs> We've got a ground speed of 134 knots at the minute, which is about 150 miles an hour. Ground speed, because we've got a really nice healthy tailwind at the minute. Our airspeed is only 95 knots right now. So, they've got my new flying eyes glasses on today. Um, these are pretty cool, aren't they? So, they are my normal glasses. They've got my prescription in them, uh, which you just have them delivered basically, and then they get the prescription put in them by Vision Express or Specsavers or the glasses brands are available um, and then once they've put your prescription in you can wear them as normal kind of glasses so when it's a cloudy day or something because we don't always get this beautiful sunny weather here in the UK but then you've got these awesome things here look at these and they just clip on the front so when it does get a bit bright you just pop them on the front how cool is that um, and of course because they're flying eyes they sit really nicely under my headset as well so it stops noise leaks and it means that they're comfortable they're not digging into the side of my big fat head all the time either so um, they are honestly the best pair of glasses that I've ever owned and the best pair of shades I've ever owned as well I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring um, this video but um, they are genuinely really good glasses so yeah check them out links just down there somewhere isn't this just absolutely incredible flying up here just with all the clouds in front of you way down below <laughs> it's the most incredible feeling ever when you're flying above the clouds it's like i don't know if you've seen stranger things they've got this whole thing about the parallel universe and you've got the upside down and the right way up and it's basically the same place but just a completely different version of it and that's exactly what it's like when you're flying i think except down there is the upside down and this is the right way up um, we're in the same place but this is just so much more beautiful up here um, than it is down on the ground. It's just incredible. I love flying so much. Hay bales are a bit high. Wow. Well, here we go. Welcome to Old Buckingham. So here we are then, Old Buckingham in Norfolk, got me coffee. Um, interesting little airfield, this, it's like a ghost town, it's like the Marie Celeste. There's literally nobody here. I've seen a couple of um, planes doing circuits and stuff, but um, it's very quiet. Uh, but they've got this nice little sitting area where you can help yourself to a coffee, and I think they've got an actual restaurant and stuff here as well, but it's not open today, because it's only open over the weekends, I think, and it's the middle of the week at the minute. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee get back in Oscar Mike and head off on my next adventure. Where will that take as well? You're going to have to hit that subscribe button to find out um, because then you'll be able to see where I end up next. In the meantime, as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.